Hey guys, it's me, Hugh, one half of your favorite podcasting duo, the Unscripted Real Artist, and I'm here today with another painting video. This time, the subject, right here, Mr. John Boyega himself. Stay tuned to see how that turned out. All right, so if you hated the sound of my voice, here it is again. Just here to talk about the inspiration. Uh, long story short, Ray suggested that I paint more celebrities. And being that I am a fan of Star Wars and just nerdy things in general, John Boyega seemed like a very good option. Um, and also, when I looked up reference photos, I found one that was just chef's kiss. Perfect for uh, this what I wanted to do with this painting. So the rest is history, as you can see. Yo, this thing is coming out freaky, bro. I was, I was putting it off, but bruh, hold up. Let me, let me just, let me just, let me. What, look at this shit, man. You see that? And it ain't even done yet, bro. Good googly moogly, what the frick? Truthfully, sometimes when you uh, do a sketch, first sometimes you don't always necessarily know what it's going to look like so i was fairly impressed with myself that it, it got to the point where it actually looked like him so and as usual i was on the phone with ray so um i decided to use flat grays here because i really wanted it to be focused on his face so, and pretty much just the sh shadows and, and everything. I just wanted it to be focused on his face for the most part. So that's why I used the flat grays. Um, could I have made it more interesting by making, putting a little bit of red or putting a little bit of blue in there or what have you, making it a cool gray or warm gray? Probably could have. And now I'm ranting. Do I sound like a complete art nerd? Probably. So here I'm working on the flowers. Um, they are the Costa Spectab Spectabilis, I believe is what they're called or how it's pronounced. And they are the national flower of Nigeria. And considering that John is of Nigerian descent, I felt that it was perfect for this painting. I could have used roses because apparently that is the national flower for the United Kingdom, but it felt too, too cheesy. It felt like, you know, typical. It felt boring, it felt bland. So I decided against using roses. As you can also see, I'm also using white. These flowers are in fact bright yellow and Considering that it's a blue background, in order for me to not have to paint layers and layers and layers of yellow, I decided to put down a white base so that it'll show up. As you can see here, I am using painter's tape to mask off areas that I want to get a really crisp line. Um, it's pretty much the only purpose of, of me using the painter's tape for the most part.
Okay, so here I'm just going over the black lines for the flowers because when I did that wash of yellow, it just washed everything out. And I want it to be bold. I want it to stand out. Because that's, that's what John deserves. Flowers that stands out. So, now it's day two. It took me another day to get this done. So, truthfully, this was the hardest part because I'm using gold transfer sheets. They're very small. And trying to make them seamless was a pain in the butt. Okay. But then I also had to carefully and painstakingly cut them in the shapes that I had drawn on the canvas itself. So, it was, it was, uh, it was a lot. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. That has been me, Painting John Boyega. As you can see, we got Simu Blue in the back. If you want to see this in more detail, make sure to go to my Instagram page, which is going to be linked down below. Make sure you do all the YouTube's stuffs and comment down below. Who do you want to see join our beautiful series right here in the back? And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.